Hi friends, welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitars we reviewed just for you. And I have just one uh, exciting maestro, maestro, uh, maestro, maestro uh, guitars by uh, Hosanna. And these are all uh, handmade uh, in this uh, factory or in this workshop. And uh, this one is a Victoria Triple O. It's like an OM size, but I just want to tell you why this is different from your normal uh, your normal triple O from any of the guitars you ever s hear or heard or play is because this is a double top series. Uh, I would say double top series or I call it a sandwich technique uh, series uh, because um, this double top actually uses two very thin slices of, uh, of Sitka spruce and has a norm Normax uh, fiber in between. Actually, it's actually I, I won't call it double top, it's actually triple layer, triple layer. Uh, what this does, this was actually used in the classical uh, built-in method by, from the classical. In theory, uh, what you can use is actually because the Normax uh, is, is rather stiff, uh, when you, you glue three pieces together with the, the screws, and then maybe you call it the, this Nomex, like the ham and sandwich. And then the, the uh, third layer of the screws. The, the two screws can be actually thinned down. And then when you glue it together, uh, it, it actually resonates a little bit more, uh, make it floppy. Uh, what it means to you actually as a player is you begin to hear that the top is extremely responsive. Fatter bass, uh, thicker bass, and, and the trembles are ringing. Okay, so so uh, in uh, 2012, basically, uh, Hosean thought about this uh, theory and then he put it in practice in 2013 after a couple of uh, prototypes, he began to, to try it out. And right now, uh, year 2021, he came out with his latest um, formulation or secret recipe to get the tone really up there okay so this one has a double top and uses his uh, standard bracing uh, which actually is a, a, um, a non scallop he doesn't really prefer scallop bracing that's what he said and it's hand tuned and they are very thin and maybe around this height okay what it does is it gives you that structural integrity over here it's a actually a forward shifted uh, x brace and uh, it gives you a, a responsive later when you hear Sika spruce top uh, back and sides of this guitar is uh, Indian rosewood uh, beautiful Indian rosewood actually you can hear even the depth tone on the back is it's pretty uh, high pitch and also a beautiful sound hole the sound hole uh, what it does is um, a lot of times when you play the guitar the sound hole is towards the, the uh, audience and it's and this sound hole is like a speaker that is actually angled towards you so it gives you a little bit of that feedback it gives you a little bit of that um feedback in this in positive feedback because what you hear and how you play and how you because you respond according to what you hear right i mean uh, what you listen to and and that's the the, the great uh, advantage of having a sound port and having this uh, bevel here the bevel basically what it does is it, it it not just gives you the comfort every time when you put your arm across your your guitar you somehow dampen a little bit of that uh, timber a little bit of it, that tone responsiveness uh, when you play okay so so uh, in the rosewood binding on this the rosette basically has firstly the parameters is a uh, um, abalone and then a handmade rosette that is used by uh, uh, Indian rosewood his uh, special looking bridge that you can see it's it's really angled nicely done in the Simoji way uh, with the abalone top buffling on this guitar okay and um, ebony lovely ebony uh, fretboard with uh, perfling lines and then with your maestro uh, and groover roto rotomatics um, the guitar comes with the trash rod and two composite uh, they call it the, the fiber reinforce onto the neck so the neck is extremely uh, stiff uh, whole guitar is black with the with the bone nut and saddle okay so how does it sound um, let's play it you know uh, it's gonna be it's gonna sound very clear and I'm just trying to adjust my mic a little bit here just to make sure that the x 
Shri Mi Lao. guitar that uh, is forward playing and it, and it has that ringing trebles and this is something that uh, I would highly recommend. You can put a pickup in and I tell you right now Huzan Guitars has improved vastly and um, I mean obviously 5-10 years ago you would play one and it's slightly different. You put them side by side, some uh, a mainstream guitar 10 years ago and right now. You can hear it has me, it has uh, um, a really when I played this, uh, the bridge the notes just jump out you know you get you get the rhythm playing the rhythm and then you get the single bass note that just jumps out not every guitar will be able to deliver this kind of uh, 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 playing, not playing, the notes that jumps out because they will be lost together with the, the, the this chord. So, so that's the difference between a, a really well-made guitar against something that is just uh, off the shelf okay so so something to know there's not just the price you're paying for for uh, very minute details details that uh, is not just the static part of this guitar but also the uh, audible part where you can actually hear that's why I'm just trying to just give you a little bit of that you hear Let's try this one more time.
hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I'm enjoying this guitar. Can you hear? I'm just playing a little bit different from my normal playing because uh, it's a very responsive guitar. And and uh, the difference between a handmade guitar and it's like wearing a off the rack pants or suit against a bespoke or a really well tailored uh, suit. Um, it can ex accentuate your shape. It you know it's the same with a great guitar. It brings out the your playing. You know, of course, you play. It amplifies also your mistakes. Okay, but if you have, you can hear. Let's do a bit of finger style. That's one of my new compositions. I don't have the uh, what is it all about. done properly.
a very responsive guitar. So your right hand technique, you don't have to apply um, a lot of pressure or, or, or aggressiveness. Uh, you just need to control. It's like a a great uh, powerful sports car. You just need to control the pedal. Whereas if you drive a van, you really have to really pump a lot just to get the momentum right, and and it's still like uh, pulling. This is really it's like it's like you able to soar soar a little bit more than normal. Okay, so till my next review, you can say uh, live with passion, play a guitar, love, joy, peace, health, and wealth to be multiplied. And I said this is a double top guitar. So there's no other maker that makes double top because it's a little bit more work laboriously, but I will call it a sandwich technique. Uh. The, the double top series basically a sandwich technique. It has a spruce, sicker spruce, a Nomex fiber, and then a sicker spruce. And it's, it's slightly thinner and it's slightly more flexible, but also it's so stiff enough to uh, withstand the pressures um, of the string tension and the way it's braced. Okay, uh, look for Maestro Guitars. It's a Victoria Triple O. Tell them double top Nomex. Uh, Indian Rosewood back and sides with the sound hole. I've explained to you why the sound hole. It's, it's something that you need to uh, to just think about. As I've said in my last video, you know, a lot of the untapped opportunities, untapped talents, are all found in the grave. So before you move yourself to the grave, start to try because uh, whatever whether taking that first step towards a relationship taking the first step of buying a great guitar, I think take the first step because uh, it could be your untapped talent lying dormant, dormant, okay? So so take that step, take that decision because you know, um, if you never take the step, you never take that shot, nothing happens. At least if you take the shot, whether you're playing in badminton, you, you or the, the ball, you, you just, uh, give your first shot at least there's some movement okay when there's some movement at least there's some progression when there's movement there's progression so take that first step you know whether you are reconciling that relationship take that first step because you will see progress not now maybe not immediate but at least you're moving from point a to point B or point C rather than staying where you are and stop complaining because if you never take the step don't complain unless you take the step and then it's not positive then you learn from your mistakes because life is it's just uh, learning and a learning experience okay so I'll see you very soon just some words of encouragement see you soon bye bye